lifestyle that the meat is it's so neutral and you can back up I'm just gonna say that. That's crazy, that blows my mind. So do you all speak Russian? Good morning, fam. It's a great day. I am here in Sacramento, California. Shout out to Sacramento. I am here at uh, Bethany Teen Bible School. No place I'd rather be. No place I'd rather be. Here in your love. Here in your love. This is a month long teen Bible school that they bring in a different teacher each week to talk about a different topic and there's about a hundred students here they are in their final week and they drew the short straw because they got me as their teacher um, I asked them yesterday if they wanted to be on the vlog and they seem pretty excited about it I have to go pretty soon to uh, do worship and then I have several lectures to give this morning. So, here's to a fun day in the Mento. Here we are. Here's what happened. Uh, in the first lesson, a bunch of people were falling asleep, so their leaders made them run a lap around the church to wake up, and these were the first three back. So uh, just shout out yourself. What's your name? David. Follow me on Instagram, David Dash. <laughs> this is David, David. Regina. And Regina. They, they're the fastest people at this Bible school. Y'all got some serious discipline here. They don't mess around. So explain though, when when you're like late to class or when like late to class, late to exercise, you skip out on class or exercise. Like anything that you do, that's like guess the rules. You have to rewrite a chapter from the Bible. You have to write a whole chapter, whole handwritten. And if, yeah. you're, and if you mess up like crazy, you have to do Psalm 19, which is the longest verse in the, I mean, longest book in the Bible with 176 it's, verses. What? Basically, like, and you thought your youth pastors were wrong. <laughs> Hey y'all, so I'm done with my first half of the day, um, but I wanted to show you all like where I'm staying because in, within this church, this church is huge, first of all, but within this church, they have like a whole wing of it that's like basically a hotel and that's where I'm staying right now. So this is my room. You walk in, I have a desk, I have like mini fridge, microwave, wonderful uh, wardrobe over here coffee maker, and then my bed, which is not made, clothes and stuff. But like, really nice room, right? Really nice room. And then we go across the hall, and this bathroom is even nicer. This bathroom is huge. Huge. Like, this bathroom is as big as Sweet Bear and I's apartment. And it has not one, but it has two showers. One toilet, two showers. Okay, so this is the door to like the hotel wing where I'm staying and it leads right out into this sanctuary. Look at this, it's huge. Apparently, this whole place used to be like a big old sports complex, like they still have sports courts like out there and stuff. It used to be a sports complex, and this right here used to be like an Olympic swimming pool. That's why they have like, you can see the balcony that goes all the way around. I like to imagine there was diving boards there, but I don't really know. There's a balcony all the way around. And yeah, this is their sanctuary. Hey, hey guys, you gonna jump? That doesn't look that safe, but okay. Anyway, I'm going to teach another lesson now. Who is that, Leah? Hi, Leah. Just chilling with my squad, you know? Chilling with my squad. Also, I don't know if I mentioned this, this is a Slavic church. So everyone here except for me is Russian or Ukrainian. I feel very much in the minority, but they're making me feel very welcomed and very loved. It's really dark in here. She brought a blanket, but she never fell asleep in class. Have you never fallen asleep in class? No, no. I've never fallen asleep Okay, so tell who you are. This is Diana. Hi, guys. This is I'm Diana. This is Ilona. There's a, a 
her. And this is Polina. Polina. There is, there is a musical about her. Oh, yeah, there. So wait, I have a You speak. So Polina, Polina did a poem last night in what, Russian. Russian, right? Did you write that? No. No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Can you say just a little bit of it? Or just can you say anything in Russian? Because I'm so I, I impressed. Guess, I guess it's, it's, we're not going to say a whole just say a little bit, because cause like Russian to me it's really impressive. I'm just gonna say that. That's crazy, that blows my mind. So do you all speak Russian? Yeah. Yeah. I was born here, but I speak Russian. That's crazy. Leah's gonna teach me some Russian before I leave. How do I say hello? What is it? Privet. Privet. Baka. Привет. Baka. All right. Hey y'all. Um. So, I'm looking at this. Uh, I'm looking at the, the like the comments from the vlog that I put up like yesterday or a couple days ago, um, where we talked a little bit about uh, that like John Jorgensen fake Christian video that someone put up, and not to like add fuel to the fire. Like, please, I would like to after this moment. Let's move past it. Let's be done. But um, uh, someone said that video was getting so many dislikes. And so I went and I looked at it. And really, it has gotten so many more dislikes since I even mentioned it. I didn't even link it. I didn't even link the video. Y'all went and found it. But there's, and the comments are so funny because there, <laughs> there's this hashtag pro John happening, which <laughs> I'm not sure what to think of it, but it's, it's, it's really funny, um, <laughs> and also, um, really the reason I bring it up though, I, I do want us all, me and you all, to just put this to rest now, it's done, it's over, like, forgiveness, you know, forgiveness and grace, um, if there was any hurt that happened, but the reason I sort of bring it up is because I'm, I'm like super grateful, um, that you all would sort of feel the desire or feel the need to come to my aid or come to my defense. That that really means a lot to me. You guys are, are super cool and so that was just really encouraging. But uh anyway, that that's all. That's it. It's done now. No more mention of it. Let's move on. Let's move past it. <sighs> that that is exactly the type of power that Jesus has. That is just how powerful the God that we were just singing about is. That it doesn't matter how long you've been hurting. It doesn't matter how long you've been struggling with that certain sin. It doesn't matter how long you've been in the pit. But through one encounter with Jesus, he has the power to change you. He has the power to heal you. <laughs> Yo, fam. What a day. It's like close to midnight right now. I'm so tired. Um, yeah, man, this Bible school, I'm getting up. I'm teaching like three plus hours a day. Um, it's a lot, but it's even more for the students who had to sit there and listen to it. So um, anyway, I'm going to go now. However, there obviously was a bunch of students and they really wanted to give some shout outs, some of them. So I guess I can maybe let them give a shout. Sure. Add me on Instagram, Anita Kovath, it's a K, not a C. Follow me on YouTube, Yelena and Alana. At Carolina at underscore B-O-G, woo! Hello guys. What's up? What's up, Vlad? Anyway, that's it. I love you all. Keep being awesome.